Hey viewers, in this video we can see how to create new keynote file and second one inserting the same into the Revit and third one creating keynote legends. Now the, we are going to the first one. Go to C drive. In this users. Go to all users. Autodesk. Revit 2015, Libraries, Imperial, and we can find the default Revit keynotes, keynote file. Open this and save us. I am save. I am saving it in my desktop. And the important thing is we have to rename the file. So I am just renaming. save it now this is our file I am going to show you a sample only so rest of the things I am going to delete now for deleting this I am just using first selecting this one and come down and shift and click the mouse here So now I am deleting. For editing this, we have to be very careful. So I am use I am I am following a method. So if you uh, you can follow this for initially, and if you find some other options, you can later you can find you can do you can follow that also. For now, this is zero zero. And demo notes. And here, one hundred. Floor plan notes one zero one concrete ball. So I'm going to delete the existing text. Now it is created and for the next keynote for you can uh, do sample keynote I am just showing the next one only one and this and we can just copy and we can use it for the next keynotes here I am using slab and save the file close and come to revit Insert the same file what we have created. You can come to annotate and under the tag we can find a keynote. In this keynote setting, go to browse. In this desktop we can find the keynote file here. And open. Keynote, it is successful loaded. Okay. Now we need to do keynotes go inside the view and user keynotes now select concrete wall now it is keynote is created and the third one is we need keynote legend here for creating the keynote legends go to view and legend that that we can see keynote legend in this nothing is to edit and hit ok it is created it is created and close the file close it sorry close and 
we can find the legend what we have created now under legends in project browser so make sure you are in the outside of the view and drag the keynote file uh, keynote legend and place it wherever you need and the second one if, uh, if next keynote if we are creating automatically it will update here we can see the next one how go to annotate user keynote one zero two and the keynote is here it is auto updated in this if we don't need this one, if you want to hide this uh, row, double click on this and go to appearance, show, uncheck this show headers, hit OK and OK. It's in thi this one you can rename it as your wish and please like and share if you are really got the information what you are looking in this video thanks viewers was watching this video thanks